Hello and welcome back to Mega React. So today we're going to be watching Blacklist Season 1, Episode 17. Last episode we had a Yakuza crime lord drug dealer who broke out of jail to get revenge on the FBI agent who killed his brother and took over his business. He was not after revenge for being caught because that was them just doing their job. There was honor in that, but there was no honor, no honor at all in killing his brother taking over his business and leaving him to rot, you know, in a jail cell. So he broke out, got his revenge in the end, and that was sweet. <laughs> and then Red uh, sent his head to uh, his FBI pal because the Yakuza guy killed that dude's girlfriend. I can't remember his name. I want to say Cooper, but... That just doesn't sound right to me. But you know who I'm talking about. Blonde, Captain America looking dude who <laughs> who uh, had a leg wound and is completely healed. That dude got a head in a box. Head in a box. It was very cool though. Uh, great episode. Red had some good moments. Everyone had some good moments. The cowboy. The cowboy is no more. And neither is uh, Jolene. Because Tom is a straight up cold blooded killer psycho. This dude, this dude is, is psycho. American psycho level psycho. So I don't know what he's gonna do. He is a wild card. It's very exciting, very exciting. So I'm just gonna hop right into this episode, but before I do, please come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. Let's get into it. Smile. What the hell? Oh, you're being hacked. Like the ominous score going. Calling. Oh! Floyd, your airbag. What is the name of the blacklist? Ivan, number 88. Good morning, Mr. Kaplan. Gentlemen. Mr. Kaplan. My man. <laughs> my lady, but my man. What is this? Cunha, 100%. How do I get one? Put it on your Christmas list, and if you're good. She found the cowboy. Her ability to locate a crime scene never ceases to amaze. You're like a human bloodhound. I've been called once. And Jolene. I don't want any indication that we ever set foot here, so please put it all back the way you found it. Of course, dearie. <laughs> How do you want to handle this? Charisma. Just oozes from Spader, man. I'd like to report a missing person. Is it gonna be the police? Mm -hmm. Detective DeBarros with Metro PD. Got a moment to talk about Jolene Parker. <laughs> oh, didn't think you'd hear that name, did you? I was hoping you could help me with that question. When was the last time you saw or spoke with her? Of course. Well played, Red. Well played. This is the first time Ivan's ever struck on U.S. soil. A fact that should have you all very concerned. Ooh, yes. Because whatever he has planned... It's big. This is only the very beginning. It's big. A lot of people say Morgan Freeman should narrate their life. I want James Spader to narrate mine. So good. I need to pull the phone records for this number. The name's Jolene Parker. Pull the thread. Pull the thread and see what unwinds. The feds. Well, y'all are the feds. More feds. Away from the car. Secret Service? Marshals? Who? This area is restricted. Not to me, it isn't. And you are? Assistant Director Harold Cooper. Who the hell are you? Agent in charge, Galarza, NSA Special Projects. Why are you detaining my people, Agent Galarza? Your people had a piece of stolen technology in their possession. So 
the federal government has armed a cyber terrorist with a digital equivalent of a nuclear warhead. Another fabulous example of your tax dollars at work. Yet another reason why I don't pay taxes. States reaching out to the Russians. <laughs> getting them I wish it was an option for us all, my friend. Actually, finding this Ivan will be a separate problem altogether. I think he's making a music box, it's by the way. Disc. Belarus, that's where Ivan is currently. We need to take a field trip. Minsk. 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 I don't know. Rochelle, Rochelle. Vivet <laughs> Ivan. Still zoom. Perhaps the face escapes you. It's my card. Seems you've stirred up the Borscht Ivan. Murdering that NSA troll got the FBI talking to the FSB. Now you're neck deep in the beats, Ivan. They've issued an arrest order for you. Red, you are one of a kind, my friend. Stop! Ivan! They are really putting on a show. I killed an agent for you. You can trust me. You think you bought it? Well, I did. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Someone heck masquerading as him? NSA agent it wasn't me. Then who was it? I don't know. But has been using my name. Look, my contempt is not for the US. It's always been with Russia. Last thing I need is a hellfire drone missile up my Zadnitz, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't do it, you did. Yeah, indeed. It is, they're very good at covering the tracks. I haven't been able to ID him yet. Computer hacker. I can't even set my thermostat without the help of my grandson. Ding, ding, grandson. ding. Grandson. Hey, you guys will have 55 minutes. Number two pencils only. No pens this time. Everybody check and make sure your graphing calculators are set to radio. I recognize that You're jacket and hoodie. Pins. You're going to have a bad time. Okay, you can begin. Hey. Do you have a second? Yeah, what's up? I'm following up some leads on Jolene's case. And I came across an address. Is he in there? What's the address? 1896 <sighs> La Vista Street. The torture warehouse. I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's not her home address. <laughs> you better get the hell out of there, Tom. Oh, shit. It does have all the pictures. No way you're covering all this up. You didn't have it set up to burn or anything, dude? Should have had this place ready to burn. Damn, that was smooth. Oh, <laughs> don't. Oh, he just punched the shit out of you. I don't want to step on any toes, but you want to be looped into the investigation. Yeah, if you could copy me on the evidence report once you've cataloged everything, I'd appreciate it. Sure. Or that I'm boring. You're a little obsessed, dude. Do you know anyone in Brian? Mimicking Bay? her? No, my dad does. Me, not so much. Exact same meal? It's gonna be so awkward. I really hate introducing myself to people. You'll be fine. It's Colorado. Free weed. It's not free, it's just legal. Yeah, dude, that's uh. That's weird. Trying to connect with her by mimicking her? <laughs> so how exactly does a 17-year-old kid slip through your fingers? None of this happened until you arrived on my doorstep. My life was great. My marriage, Tom, thank God I have Tom. Because with you, I never know what to believe. <sighs> she is so blind. How the hell would I know? So blind. 100%. Have fun with Tom, 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 Tom. I was able to find a hidden partition filled with terabytes of data. He breached her computer, surreptitiously watched her, and it gets worse. No. He hacked into her cell, email, texts. Hell, he even got into her MP3 collection. He chronicles her every move. He's stalking her. <laughs> yeah, he is. Imagine what else he watched of this girl. You know what I'm saying? This dude's a creeper. This dude's a straight up creeper. 
Not cool, fellas. Not cool to hack into people's stuff and spy on them. <laughs> Not cool at all. Is she familiar with a young man named Harrison Lee? Oh. Ooh. Uh, Attacking the power grid? What's going on? This some weird, like, 80s movie romance moment in his mind. But it's just going to be a creepy stalker moment in real life. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Hello. Jackie, I bet she you? doesn't even know who this dude is. Probably never talked to her. Abby. Dude. Hi. Harrison. What are you doing down here? I just wanted this moment to be private. Just you and me. We, we don't even know each other. I feel like I know you. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? I'd never hurt you. I think you would. Can I please just go home? Don't you get it? You don't have to move anymore. You are nuts. Why would you do all of this? Because, Abby, I love you. You don't even know her, you freak. <laughs> yes, run, Abby. Abby, I'm sorry that I'm such a creep and I lured you here under false pretenses and then assaulted you when you tried to leave. Will you date me? Like, <laughs> Abby, I'm this, this kid. This isn't what Abby would want. <laughs> Let's play on his emotions for Abby. Getting midnight meat train vibes. You <laughs> if you've seen that movie, you know why. Stay put, we're coming to get you. Dad, can we please move to Colorado? <laughs> get me away. Figured he'd be better with a knife. I need some wine, preferably the entire bar. You are I don't know that bad. squishing those tomatoes. <gasps> Colonel Sanders hippopotamus. What is this? Be careful of your husband. The truth. Yes. I you believe it. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Tell me about my husband. You were right. What's this? It's a 1940s Sorrento music box. All right, bigger than I thought, but a music box. My dad would lay in bed with me and hold me in his arms. He'd tell me I was safe, that everything was going to be okay. Oh, this. He's got to be her father. How is he not her father? Honestly. It's got to be fact. It's going to be okay. Look at that. Look at that. The song, the holding, everything's going to be okay. And she does feel safe. We're going to end there. We have to. Oh, great episode. Great episode. I'll be right back with you. So that was Blacklist season one, episode 17. Amazing, 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 amazing episode. Tom. You found out, son. One phone call. That's all Red had to do. It all fell apart. She knows. She knows. And she is going to come at you hard, son. Come at you hard. You deserve it. You psycho. Also, the kind of main crime dude thing that was going on, we thought was a dude named Ivan from Russia. No, it was just some teenage weirdo who watched too many John Hugh movies and thought uh, stalking a girl watching her while she slept while she probably did other things not going to go into how creepy that is listen to her 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 phone calls and read her emails and and thought thought it would be romantic to shut off the power to the city lure her somewhere under false pretenses and be like hey I love you even though we don't know each other that's creepy dude that's creepy. You could have took 
some of the information you learned and maybe try to talk to her. And I'm not talking everything you did, like, like learn her favorite band and her favorite food, maybe. That's it, that's it. Ask her on a date, talk to her about the band, see if there's anything there. But no, you went full on creepy stalker mode, not cool. Uh, I hope you get locked somewhere for a long time and you'll probably work for the government while you're locked up, of course, because you're obviously a talented hacker. But dude, you were cringe. You were cringe. But Tom, Tom is next level. I wouldn't call, he's like you, but like a thousand times worse. Because he literally married someone and wanted to adopt a kid with someone all as a cover. How, how deep does this crazy rabbit hole go with Tom and why is he really here? And so many questions. And I know Lizzie's going to get the answers. And then at the very end, the very end, the very end, she is being cuddled by Red to a song she listened to as a child that her father would comfort her with while holding her and telling her everything will be okay, which is what he did to end the episode. He is the father. No way he's not the father. No one can ever convince me he's not her father. Even if the show says he is not the father, I will not believe it. Red said he's not the father. I don't believe him. I don't believe it. I don't. How can anyone believe it at this point? Unless this is the greatest misdirect in the history of television. I wouldn't put it past the show because this show is awesome. And you're awesome. And... And everything's awesome. So if you like everything being awesome, please continue to come on this journey with me, this awesome journey. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega signing off.